with Francesca at Cholas Lake. In case you're wondering. Uh, feeling good. Weather's nice. Nice and cool. It gives me that something in my bones coming from Ohio. Around my birthday time is like kind of like October, so it's Head kind, north of, on 35th place toward Madison kind Avenue. of cool then turn right autumn onto feel. Madison Avenue. It's kind of a melancholy right feel to it, but it's a, then turn left onto I Wilson like it, Avenue. I like it. You can't see because of these dingas here. Parked to my left. Can't see to get out on this darn road. Okay, and we're out. I just gave a little friendly nod to him. Cause it's all good, baby, Head my baby. Madison Avenue toward 35th Place. Turn left onto 35th Street. People say I can't draw caricatures. I can draw regular pictures, but I can't draw caricatures. In a quarter mile, turn right onto El Cajon Boulevard. I think the only like there's all kinds of different approaches. There's all kinds of different styles. caricatures but what ties them all together I think it's all it's all drawing in terms of thinking in terms of the attributes of a face and the relationships between those attributes so then you have a it has to be a finite set of attributes. So, limited in a way. And that's a big thing, to limit, limit Turn yourself. Right onto El Cajon Boulevard. Limit your drawing. to reject the purely subconscious approach that you take on when you do mile, use the left two lanes to turn left uh, onto the I805 south ramp figure drawing lay our still life drawing this attempt to this attempt at exact replication um, this attempt at every every sentence I'm saying I, I I'm hearing in the back of my head like exceptions but I'm not saying those exceptions because I'm trying to, I'm trying to paint a picture. And so then the discussion wants to move from a discussion about drawing to a discussion about, about shapes. It always comes down to shapes with me. That's the, some word that really connects to something. of seeing the world or my way of grappling with the world grappling with existence grappling with uh, the most common challenges maybe Okay, back on track, back on track. So, you know how you draw when you're in art class and they have you turn the drawing upside down and, and uh, copy the photo? 
and that, that exercise is trying to get you to break from your habits of use the left two lanes to turn left onto the I-805 south ramp break from your habits uh, how you see objects it might be in terms of their utility like we see a, a face or a head in terms of eyes nose mouth and ears because the ears have a particular function for hearing the nose has a particular function for smelling the eyes have a particular particular function for seeing the mouth has uh, many functions in eating talking but eating primarily right and then the talking the talking is it's interesting that that one has two functions or maybe uh, maybe others have two functions the eyes is clearly for seeing nose is clearly for smelling ear is clearly for hearing Those are the big ones too. Eye, well, eyes, eyes, nose, and mouth. I think those are the biggest ones. Eyes, nose, and mouth. Eyes are for seeing. Nose is for smelling. Mouth is for speaking. Mouth is for eating. Seeing, smelling, tasting, and and talking. Talking about something, something dubious about that. I kept, I saw a chess video and this guy kept using the word dubious over and over again. In 800 feet, merge onto I 805 South. It's a very dubious. I don't think he knew quite how to use the word, but I used it perfectly. <laughs> but, um, here's for you. So, it functions. Continue on I 805 South for two miles. So, um, draw a caricature, let's say you think of, if you're stuck in that function Continue type of mode, take exit 13 for California 94 East, Martin Luther King Jr. Right then you're going to be, like, let's say, you're going to be comparing the size relationships between those, those big popular functioning shapes, eyes, nose, mouth, so what are the, what's the biggest feature out of those? What's the most unusually large feature out of those? Maybe I'm not going to get to the essence of things in this little talk. I always try to, but this one I might just digress. And maybe you can find some find something in the Have you turn the paper upside down? So that you can honestly draw what you're looking at. And basically it's a way to get you away from I think the fear of being weird. The fear of drawing or doing something weird. Something that no one's done before. That's still. 
still makes sense. It still continue on California 94 East for three that miles. That's beauty. Beauty and truth. Is it an attempt? Is it an attempt to better understand everything? Understand the world, people always say. But that's kind of that's a small that's a small thing. The world. I'm not just talking about the world. I'm talking about the whole our whole experience of everything. And that's such a big thing. That's such a big thing. I mean, it's such a and it's such an understatement to say that's such a big thing. type of way like that. Um, 
and a whole lot of it never made much sense to me but kind of pieces in part like I let it all kind of wash over me like I kind of just soaked it all in took it all in and without necessarily rejecting all of it but there's stuff when something doesn't make sense when something just and I'm not even necessarily knowing why it doesn't make oh shoot that wasn't my turn head southwest toward college avenue uh, history thought of as a pro progressional thing in its progress like the progress of uh, how we depict things or the progress of how we see um, that seems not to be Head accurate toward college Grove way Unless you completely dismiss unless you completely dismiss like popular the, the popular zeitgeist of the, of the period the popular ways of thinking the, the way people the way generally people are what they like what they believe how they see their experience. If you reject all that, you might be able to think about the progress, like art history as progress. And then uh, postmodernism uh, disregards that progress as well. They they see that as a they see that as not true as well, or they have a problem with that as well, postmodernism. Um, postmodernism is west on College Avenue toward College thought of Use the left two lanes to turn left after or was Chase thought of the left as the, college Grove the as the current stage of art history. So Art history still exists, and it takes postmodernism and it tacks it onto the end of their, the end of their uh, chronology, and all while postmodernism is saying, is saying, this progressive chronology is fungus, and they're saying, okay, all right, we're going to take that and we're going to add that to the chronology. Art history is still, it still stands. Unless, unless that's just me talking from my experiences 20 years ago or however long of being in art school. Because now I'm, like that could just be, those could all be relics and then What's really happening is this discussions that are happening on YouTube and uh, other kinds of platforms. So maybe it is that maybe it is true that um, that uh, our history is no longer thought of as legitimate. But by whom? But. Okay, where are we at? What was I saying? Okay, so we're talking about, every, every once in a while, I just need to come back to the starting point and say, okay, the difference Continue on college between, road live, for half a between the live caricature drawing, drawing, and other drawing. The main difference is that the live caricature drawing process thinks in terms of attributes if you're, 
forced to eventually. Uh, forced to? Really? Are you forced to? Maybe the less. You're stuck in destination. that attributes mentality. Maybe the better of a character, caricaturist you are. In which case, that doesn't that doesn't say anything too good about live caricature or drawing. Okay, I'm getting close to my de destination. I almost said definition. We're still there. Okay. Um, attributes. You want the customer to agree with your drawing, right? You want them to say, yeah, you're right, he does have a big nose. You have arrived. Otherwise, yeah. Well, we took a little journey in this uh, in this conversation. Did we, did we come to the did we come to a destination? Maybe not. But we did something. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm here at Cholos Lake now.